Hi, this is Fred. We're going to give you an overview of how breakout rooms work in Big Blue Button. So here I have a session. There's four students in it. And let's say I want to put these students into breakout rooms. I'm going to go down to the gear icon. I'll choose breakout rooms. And this will give me some options for setting up the rooms. By default, the students are randomly assigned to however many breakout rooms I have. Here, there's two of them, but I could choose three breakout rooms. And the students will be randomly assigned. Let's choose two. And if I don't like the assignment, I can drag and drop the students between them to get them just right. I have a time limit here. Let's say it changes to five minutes. And I have also have an option to allow users to choose their breakout room, which I'll leave selected. So just to show how that's going to work from the student's point of view, I'm here as student four in Firefox. It's going to go back, and I'm going to start the breakout rooms. So now all the students are going to get an invite. So let's see what that looks like. I go over to Firefox, it gives me the option. By default, I've invited to join room two, and I'm gonna say join a session. Notice when I click on it, a new tab opens up. So I'm actually still in the main tab, but a new tab is opened up, and in that new tab, I'm in the breakout room with everybody else. In a breakout room, all users are moderators, so they can upload slides, they can um, make each other presenter, and so on. So as the instructor, I can see here in the users list each room that the students were went, went into, and I can move the mouse over here to see also which breakout room they're in. Now the students are again in a new tab, but they can still chat with the instructor in the main tab. Oh, and we see here student one says they need help. I can see student one is in breakout room one, so I'm just gonna say uh, I'll touch base. There's two ways I can join. I'm here in the audio, but I also have two actions. I can join or I can just transfer my audio channel into it and join that room. So if I'm going to click on it, how are you doing? Do you are need you any help? help? Yes, please. I yes, need please. Help. I need some help. Okay. Okay. So you are currently the only person in this conference. I've left the audio channel. I'm back in the main, but here I can click to join it. So if I join, I can get prompted. Oh. It will open up a new tab for me, and I, as the instructor, will join in just like the students did. So I'm going to join room one, and I'll be able to interact with the students. I can see what they're working on. And let's see, I join with a microphone. Cool, I'm cool. here. And we can just do a hi, we can chat, and we can collaborate and so on. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna go back to the main tab. Test, 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 test. Okay, the other thing we may happen is students may join late. So here we can see a student has joined and they're not in the breakout rooms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them an invitation. So if I bring the breakout room dialog box up again, it'll show me the students that are currently in breakout rooms and any new students that have joined. I'm just going to drag this student to room one and then I'm going to send them an invite. And now in a moment, that student should join breakout room one. And you can see here there are three students in it. So that's, uh, students are now collaborating. At some point, uh, the time limit may be reached. I can see here I have a minute and 53 seconds left. Or if the instructor gets a sense that the breakout rooms are finished, I can just close all the breakout rooms. If I do that, all the breakout rooms close. If I go back to my student here, it says you've been logged out of the conference. But again, I'm still in the main tab, and that's me as here as student four. So that's an overview of breakout rooms and how they work within Big Blue Button.